Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am casting my eyes across an alien planet in the game Planet Nomads. So Planet Nomads is in early, early alpha access. It's only available to people that back the Kickstarter at the appropriate level. And, uh, well, what they've got in it is the sandbox building mode. You have the full-on planet exploration. You can build some vehicles. You can appreciate, explore the, you know, planets created by seeds. And it looks like a bit of a storm is blowing in here. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we have, we have some sort of limited biome support. We have terrain. We have life forms. We have, well, I mean, we have flora. We do not have fauna. I'm just actually going to head down into the valley because it's going to be pretty exposed up here. So let's start running. Whoa! And of course we have the ability to fly because this is sci-fi. And in sci-fi, you know that we all wanted to have those flying suits. We also wanted to have flying cars. And well, we can't build flying cars just yet. We can build cars that will get you help you move across alien terrain. However, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna build one until I can get on the flatlands. Yeah, uh, it's Bloxel-based game, so of course you have the standard tools. You can drill into the mountainside if you like to hollow out caves and mine things. That will be, of course, part of the proper full-on survival game. There is a tool which is like a buzzsaw that lets you attack the local fauna, uh, flora, once again. Whoa, which has really interesting physics. I love the way that kind of just jumped out, out of the ground there. Whoa, and there it goes. Look at it. Whoa. Yes. Oh, never mind. There's, they're all over the place. <laughs> I can cut this one down as well. These are kind of cool. I wonder if this one will go flying when I cut it down. Go on. How high are you going to go? Oh, no. It just fell over. Look at it. Oh, it's not. It's leaning against its brother here. Well, he ain't heavy, but he's my brother. But he is gonna go fly. <laughs> oh, alien tree is gonna collapse upon me. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get down onto the flatlands. We should probably try building something in this. After all, it is a building style game. If you see, as I've gone south a little, the climate has changed just a little bit. Not by a huge amount. But we can also pause for a moment to appreciate the gorgeous. God's rays, uh, crepuscular rays, as the sun descends close to the horizon. Uh, yeah, this actually looks pretty darn effective, I have to say. Look at that. Nice! Oh, wow, it almost makes the fact that they only come out at night worth it. Just kidding. There's no creatures, no bad guys, no enemies just yet. In fact, there's no way to die as far as I can tell at this point. You can, of course, get your vehicles stuck horribly and be unable to get out of it because you're stupid. Ah, uh, but that's not the same thing as dying. Okay, let's make a quick run for these sandy-like areas. Those will be the perfect place for me to test my new driving skills. And here we go. Okay. So let's build something. And I'm going to build something like a little vehicle with a trailer. That's my plan. Let's actually just start by building the vehicles. I'm going to use a slightly bigger cockpit because I can. First thing when you're building that you want to do is put down a jack. So you can jack up your prices or you know, jack up your vehicle. And you're going to put this on top. And then you're going to build out the rest of the structure around it like this. And then we're going to put like a power supply on the back and of course this is a vehicle so you need to have wheels on it so suspension is what you connect wheels to suspension on all sides so this is going to be a bit wider to start with but then when we add the trailer it'll probably look a little better wheels get attached wheels 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 with the letter H in it that everyone seems to think that I say a lot. And you know what? They're probably right. Because there is a letter H in it. Of course I say the letter H. Just kidding. Uh, yeah. Let's go and put some searchlights on it. So I'm going to attach these here. We also have the hinge. Let's do that. So let's uh, attach 
flashlight on the front. And it's not powered just yet, but give me a minute and it will be. Let's build out a little bit of a trailer here, just because we can. And look at that. That, and then we'll expand this. We don't want to make them... Oh, there, it's already starting to move. This whole world is changing around me. Quickly... Oh, no, no, we don't want that. Go away. Building in this uh, alpha is not as fast or as easy as people would like, and they're going to add prefabs and things like that for future versions. It is only a couple of weeks old, and they've had a lot of good feedback and a lot of bad feedback and a lot of people that have come up with all sorts of cool ideas and I'm glad because I would not have the time to spend nearly the amount of hours that I've seen some people have put into this already. It's pretty nice to see that people are really enjoying this. Okay, so wheel on here. I mean there's no reason for me to build this trailer other than that it shows that they support these these kind of features out of the box. Okay, so now I need to kind of hook everything up and the way you do this is by going into build mode. So the build mode lets you take a look at, or sorry, it's build vision mode. So first thing I'm going to do is connect the electricity. So it says connect. You just create these connections between everything. I don't actually need any electricity on the rear here. It's going to be unpowered for now. Power up my flashlight and so you now see that it's illuminating the trees in front of them. And that's that. They're all connected. They are all connected. Now the next thing I need to do is make sure these wheels all rotate the correct direction. Boy, it sounds like it's getting chilly here. Change direction and make it steer. And change direction. No steering here. And this one is just going to be completely powered off. It's just going to be a wheel that gets pulled along. And the articulation makes everything work. Okay, and this one needs steering on the front. There we go. And I think I want more speed on these things, right? Let's make them fast. I hope that works. Fast speed. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's uh, get out of build vision mode and jump on board. Uh, oh yeah, of course. It's still jacked up there. I should probably have fixed that before I actually got in. Uh, right click to delete. Now we have everything. Get on board. Oh yes, there we go. Get on the space train. Drive around. That's us. So yeah, obviously you can build some vehicles and there's a whole bunch of functional blocks. It's clearly not nearly as developed as, say, something like Space Engineers. Of course, Space Engineers is early access, whereas this is earliest access. This is about as earliest as you can get access to the game. I have to say, I think it has more features than Space Engineers had when it appeared. I could be completely wrong. Space Engineers, though, game that is just boggles my mind continuously. Hey, look at that, knocking this thing down. Oh, moving kind of slowly there. Oh, wait, my light's flickering. What's up with that? Oh. Huh. You know what? My light seems to turn off when I'm using power. I think I do not have enough power on this vehicle. Well, let me get, let me fix that then. So where's the power generators? Power generators, oh, we're gonna put in three times the amount of power. We can just get over the other side. Take one there, and one there, and we'll just split the power equally. So this one will power, uh, no wait a second, this one will power this side. Da -da. There we go. So that will have dedicated power to those wheels. And a right click, click, come out of this and connect on this side as well. Connect to the power. Connect to the power. Excellent. That should be us. Let's jump on board and see how fast we can go. Come on. Oh, oh come on. Get off of that thing. Yes. There. Look. Oh, yes. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> well, this thing turns a little fast. Well, I can't make it go straight. Even the slightest push makes it turn really fast. I think, uh... I think my front and rear wheels are... Oh! Damn it! No! 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 Oh, man! 
Now I'm struck at night with the creatures surrounding me. Oh, no, wait, those are trees. Still, those trees, they move in a very strange way. I'm going to try. Uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this. So I'm looking for... There's, there's basically a jack, a hover jack, for people that want to put their vehicles underneath it. Now, how am I doing this? So we have generator in place, and then the hover jack goes underneath. There we go, and now we need to provide... Oh, crap, I keep deleting it because it's the right mouse button. And that's just what I do, naturally. Connect, connect, and we have liftoff! Yeah, oh, I wonder if I can make, like, a monorail with these things. That'd be cool. Now, can I, like, flip it over? Is that... <laughs> no, I don't think there's any actual way for me to flip... Whoa, wow, and I can hammer my head on that. It sounds like there's guns in this game. There's no guns in this game. Not yet. Uh, manual function. Nope, that's not that. Uh, try sticking another one under here. And then provide power from that very same generator. Power. And power. Oh. I think I am exceeding the power requirements from this single generator. I need two generators for this. Good lord, this thing is... Desperately in need of power to violate the laws of physics. Of course, when you have a dedicated generator, then violating the laws of physics is easier than having to share the power between two of them. But yeah, there's no way that I can... I can't figure out any way to fix this. I appear to be stranded, at least until I build something else. Well, I can't solve my problem, but hey, the sun is about to come up and we can appreciate the sights one more time. So yeah, this is uh, Planet Nomads by Crane Balls out of uh, the Czech Republic. And as I said, it's only, this version is currently closed to alpha, so I don't think there's any way to buy into it. I could be wrong, but eventually they'll open up things more and more as they get more feedback, and we'll get more features in the game. But I just wanted to take a look at it and see how it's going, because, you know, I like to back Kickstarters, because I very much feel that I want to support people that are developing interesting games. That's just, you know, my nature. A lot of people send me free games, which is great, but I also like to buy games anyway. Probably because I'm crazy on some basic level. Regardless, if you're interested in this game, you should actually really check other people that have done some cool stuff with this. I don't have the time to really build out and show you the full set of features of this game, and if this may not have been on your radar, it, it may be now. So check it out, or if it looks like your kind of thing. If not, that's fine. I'll have other space games for you in other videos. Regardless, as you know, my advice as always is to fly safe.